use all these services. Okay, hi all. Uh, welcome to the GSOC office hours. Today is February 26, uh, and we run uh, our common agenda. So we will discuss some news, uh, our project application status, and other bits. And then we will have some time for question and answers by students. So right now we don't have many students on the call, but maybe it will change. So one of the problems is that Gitter is down, so not everybody needs to think about this call, but yeah, still, let's press it. Okay, first good news is that actually we are accepted to Google Summer of Code 2020. So as an organization, Jenkins is published uh, on the website, and in addition, uh, there are uh, more than 200 organizations for this year, I guess. So it looks like it's going to be the biggest ever JSOC. Well, it's the biggest ever, ever every year, but still. Um, regarding Jenkins, our application represents uh, the latest state of the application documentation. Uh, which was reviewed by all participants. So we have Jenkins X listed. Uh, we have uh, all the information up to date. Uh, we still have an opportunity to edit this profile. So this year they added this feature. So if somebody sees uh, something to be changed, uh, please uh, let me know. So we still can update uh, this website. Regarding project ideas, again, everything was published. We did a major effort over the past week uh, to update uh, project ideas. And you can see that there are many project ideas and uh, accepted state. And some project ideas are still in the draft state, though they're being uh, updated. And again, draft state doesn't mean that you cannot apply. So these ideas are also valid. So we have uh, 18 ideas, plus some ideas under the discussion. And maybe we will be able to publish more ideas uh, un until the deadline. Mm. Yeah. Another interesting uh, news from this year that uh, Continuous Delivery Foundation. So uh, Continuous Delivery Foundation is umbrella organization for Jenkins, um, for Jenkins X, and also for other projects like Spinnaker. Uh, so they have been also accepted to Google Summer of Code. Uh, they will be participating as a separate organization. And they added the topic to discuss how would we collaborate. Uh, it's an open question for everyone because I guess nobody on this call knew that CDF is applying. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's great to see them around and uh, there, is, uh, there are many opportunities for collaboration uh, between projects. And let's see where it goes. And last but not least, we've got a blog post uh, by Perry J published. So it's another blog post about uh, Jenkins World uh, and DevOps World uh, travel experience. So Perry J was one of the students who joined here. So again, you can uh, find some cool photos. Yeah, it's not San Francisco, it's uh, Lisbon. And uh, yeah, there is a bunch of stuff. So please check it out. And if you're a student, yeah, we are doing our best to sponsor uh, uh, students to go to European events, uh, not to European events, uh, to Jenkins related events uh, around the world. And yeah, hopefully we will be able to meet you next year. So that's all these news. Mm, we also have some other common topics. Um, new potential mentors introduction. Do we have any new potential mentors on the call? So I see Jim Crowley on the call. Oh, like I'm not sure that Jim had intended to be a mentor. I think he was listening in. Okay. Um, his yeah. his work in the platform SIG is certainly interesting, but I'm not sure it's Google Summer of Code specific. Yeah, yeah just ask ask uh, just in case. Mm. Okay, so then uh, let's spend some time on uh, Jenkins and CDF. So uh, we had some discussion before the recording started. My understanding that we do not change. Um, the agenda for the Jenkins project, because once the project uh, got announced, I've got email uh, from my CDF asking what is our plan. So for Jenkins, to be honest, I think that uh, it would be better for us to proceed as a separate organization, uh, because yeah, we, we've been participating in JSOC for several years. We have all the agenda, all the documentation prepared. 
Uh, we have started getting communications with students several months ago, and it's definitely not the best time uh, to uh, flip the table and uh, to rework how we operate. So for Jenkins project, I think we should definitely press it as a separate organization. For Jenkins X, if I understand uh, correctly, we would also uh, uh, focus on this option, though uh, there is more flexibility there. And if Jenkins X decides uh, to participate on the CDF uh, umbrella, it's also possible. But we have some time to decide. Okay. As we've done the initial application with Jenkins, I think it does make sense for us to continue forward in this path. Um, mm. I don't see any reason why we would change it at this moment in time. Uh, it's very interesting that the CDF is involved in GSOC. I think in the future, it could be really cool for us all to be together under one organization and would give the right signaling for CDF. But mm -hmm. this is a bit late in the game to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one thing which uh, currently inputs us is that uh, basically CDF isn't specific what are the project ideas. And uh, potentially somebody may submit project ideas to Jenkins and Jenkins X uh, to the CDF account. Um, and before that, we had some uh, collaboration between organizations. So for example, Jenkins and uh, Fossi Foundation. So we had uh, project ideas which were significantly intersecting. And uh, for example, me and Martin were, were potential mentors in both organizations. Uh, so uh, we used it as an opportunity for cross collaboration, and we should be ready that something uh, like that happens with Jenkins. So if a student uh, applies with a good uh, Jenkins project to continuous delivery foundation, uh, they we won't be able to transfer this application to the Jenkins uh, optimization and vice versa. So uh, project slots pools would be different, uh, mentor pools would be different. And we still need to understand how it would work, but uh, we should prepare to such options. Mm. But, mm, yeah. mm. Unfortunately, I'm not really. I don't really know what is uh, the CDF channel for JSOC because mailing list uh, uh, just references a page with mailing list. Uh, same for other things. So to be honest, I, if I was a student, I wouldn't be able to comprehend uh, how to apply right now. So I started providing feedback from, uh, to CDF folks and hopefully we will be able to fix that. So, Sladin, there was a question uh, from you about uh, could we propose a project idea? Yeah, I guess I see the project page, I think CDF. Um, yeah, there isn't much uh, information on how to apply. I guess if you go, yeah, visit the ideas list also, it just links you to the GitHub uh, and it just gives you about how you're going to propose a project. So, if at all you're going to maybe, I mean, if you're thinking of a collaboration or sort of maybe as, a, uh, as an organization, could we maybe propose a sort of project and go through this entire project life cycle, which would benefit, uh, I don't know, is the main aim to benefit CDF as, an, as a community or Jenkins as a community. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, since we come under the umbrella, maybe we could propose a sort of project that could come under their scope. Um, if at all, that is the idea, maybe as a potential student, um, maybe I could, maybe if that is the idea, maybe I could help or something. What do you think? Yeah, I don't so think we should. I don't think we should. I don't think we should combine any of this uh, at this stage. I think leave this separate for next year. Then I think we can have a little bit of a better planning ramp to do that. But for this year, I think they should remain separate projects. And uh, I definitely think we should be mindful when we're sending out tweets or anything to add the CDF to that because there that could create confusion. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Though right now, this uh, project life cycle page, even if it's uh, linked as uh, ideas list, it's not an ideas list. Uh, yeah. This is a guideline for new projects being proposed. So, for example, if you wanted to propose Jenkins to continue delivery foundation at the current state, this is the guideline you would have to follow. 
so theoretically, there might be a student who has a project related to continuous integration who would be willing to propose it as CDF incubating project or something like that. Uh, but yeah, my best guess is that uh, this was just the page of the link and they need to create uh, their own guidelines. So as Jenkins project, we invested a huge amount of time to prepare all our documentation. Uh, CDF just starts, so they yeah, may need some help. And uh, if you are active in uh, continuous delivery foundation Slack, uh, it will be one of the topics. And I will also put it uh, to the agenda of advocacy and outreach uh, seek tomorrow. Is whether we can uh, help uh, continuous delivery foundation um, uh, with JSOC. Uh, but yeah, overall, Mark is right. We should be as discreet as possible, so, and we need to figure it out. And to agree with or like. And to really reinforce the point, uh, Sladen, the the list, the project list that is linked to the project lifecycle, that really is for existing open source projects which are decently mature. So have some sort of governance structure in place, have a certain number of contributors. So it's not just for ideas. Um, it's really for existing open source projects. It would be very hard, for, I would think, for a GSOC student to be able to create an open source project at the level that would be acceptable as a sandbox project for the CDF. And that's just being realistic. I, I think um, for GSOC, that's a step too far and that you may want to consider projects more as Jenkins and Jenkins X have proposed them. So projects that have mentors in place and that are already somewhat spec'd out and then you can take your own approach to those suggested projects. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Thanks on that. Okay. So, any other comments about uh, that? I do have one comment, and this is, it's more a comment slash suggestion. Does it make sense to send out some type of communication under the Jenkins banner to let people know that these are separate projects? Mm, or would that, I think that would be good, but it also may create more confusion. I don't know, that's more to what everybody. My fear is, is that if anybody goes to the Google Summer of Code website and looks for projects that are showing and they see the CDF, mm -hmm. they're gonna see then Jenkins possibly, and then see Jenkins X and think it's CDF. I just think there's a lot of room for confusion, but that we may, if sending out a communication may also create more confusion. So uh, that's so, more just a question. Yeah, uh, we need to talk to CDF first. Hopefully we will start progressing uh, tomorrow. So for me, the first steps would be to uh, get explicit documentation here on the CDF page and here on the Jenkins page so that we could uh, add some clarification. Maybe we should explicitly remove Jenkins and Jenkins X from here and say that uh, they participate as a separate project. Uh, but yeah, let's talk first. Okay, so, awesome, thank you. And that's why I was asking the question because of those labels, they really, there, that's very confusing, especially as a stu student. Or yeah, a student. Wholehearted agreement with the confusion, but I think we can also start even now just being actively promoting the Jenkins project ideas list and contribution to Jenkins. So we can do that without any coordination, just more actively promoting that, hey, the Jenkins project has a really solid Google Summer of Code team with mentors ready to go, mentors expressed interest, and interesting project ideas, come see us. So I, I'm not worried as much about confusion as I am if we aren't active enough in promoting and, and being noisy on social media and other places that, hey, we've got a really exciting set of project ideas, come students and, and propose your project plans. Okay. I, I agree with that. I just want to make sure that for the Twitter admins, when you're sending out tweets, don't, add, especially if it's a Google Summer of Code tweet, if you add a hashtag for the CDF, 
uh, and I know we have some c communication about this amongst the team already, if you, that could be lending to confusion because of the mislabeling. So just make sure not to do that. I, I, or, or that's not, I'm not directing anybody that I'm more suggesting not to add the CDF hashtag to any tweet communications. Yeah, so it was uh, my mistake probably because uh, I did it with the best intention, but yeah, I agree that it could have caused uh, confusion. So it's specifically about a GSOC tweet a while ago. Yeah, CDF is referenced here. But yeah, uh, let's just uh, keep in mind for the next uh, promotions. Okay, so speaking of uh, promoting uh, JSOC, uh, so uh, I finally sent an uh, email announcement, but we still could do a few other things to promote it. Uh, so yeah, we could just spend maybe five to 10 minutes to list what we usually do and what we could do again. So uh, the announcement blog post, Uh, so I guess on both Jenkins and uh, Jenkins X websites. Um, uh, then uh, we could also uh, add Jumbotron. Uh, so we didn't do it last year because we were already beyond our capacity, but we could add a JSOC announcement here. Um, Uh, yeah, my link is, yeah, that's clear. Uh, what else we could do is basically social media. Uh, so anyone, uh, if you are a potential mentor, uh, please uh, promote your project because what we do as a JSOC org uh, team, we do a best effort uh, to promote it using standard channels, but we don't have bandwidth uh, for targeting mar targeted marketing. So. Yeah, if you know some potential contributors, potential mentors, as a champion in your project or as an interested mentor, please uh, invest some time uh, to reach out uh, to the contacts because we need uh, to find students, we need to find mentors, uh, and if you just sit uh, and wait, uh, yeah, you'll get some application, so, but uh, less application than we usually expect. So. Oleg, I wonder if those of us who have university connections might consider actually visiting universities or other facilities that physically have students that might benefit from hearing or from from general notification from announcements and noise, right? From an advertising conversations. Hey, look, you're a student. You could work a summer flipping hamburgers or you could work a summer writing code. Which one would you prefer? Yeah, it's what uh, people usually do, um, at least some. Uh, I went to university two or three times. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's a fun experience. Uh, if somebody is interested, uh, what we usually do, we have some template presentations and we can create them up on request. So we didn't create a template for GSOC 2020 yet, uh, but yeah, we could do that. Uh, so if someone wants to do that, please do so. I'm currently discussing uh, options uh, in Neuchatel, uh, it's the city where I live. Unfortunately, I didn't go to Russia in a good time frame this time, uh, but yeah, I'll uh, do my best to promote. Uh, yeah, we can prepare a slide decks. Well, and, and back to your note on social media, you, you lobby that the mentors, so that's one I have not done nearly enough, and I suspect other potential mentors have the same challenge, that mm -hmm. I, there's nothing wrong with me promoting the projects that are, the ideas I'm interested in on social media and encouraging people through LinkedIn, through Twitter, through WhatsApp, through Facebook, whatever, to, to consider joining. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, the same for blog posts. For example, if you want to create a blog post for Jenkins IO for other resources, please do so. So whatever visibility we could get, it's fine. 
and we really need help from vendors uh, about that because we have uh, only three active orca means now uh, we uh, will probably try to get more but still uh, orca means uh, will be handling all bureaucracy and other things uh, so yeah we do some uh, common things but uh, yeah we cannot uh, do too much so it would be much appreciated and of course social media it's yeah, everything is the same. So if you're active in Twitter, posting there it's fine. If you're active in LinkedIn, posting there is also fine. Uh, and we'll, yeah, any resource you actively use, why not? Thank you. Uh, yeah, in the case of Jenkins, now we have uh, our own Twitter account, but our LinkedIn and Facebook uh, profiles are dormant. So we cannot use them, and even if you use them, the output uh, would be not that good, I'd say. But still, we could uh, uh, try. So if you have your own accounts, you can do that. OK, what else could we do? Uh, one thing is uh, local JSOC communities. Uh, because um, uh, there are, uh, in uh, many countries uh, there are specific uh, JSOC uh, channels. For example, there is a Chinese uh, uh, JSOC channel, there is Russian JSOC channel, um, and uh, like uh, there is uh, uh, there are many others. So you can uh, use uh, these channels to promote the Jenkins there, promote uh, your specific project. Why not? Um, and yeah, these channels are pretty big. And if you talk about China, about India, uh, basically 70% uh, of students uh, are from APAC region. So yeah, uh, using these channels can be as efficient as using uh, our Twitter account, uh, probably much more efficient. Okay. Any other promotion opportunities we could discuss? Yeah. Meetups. So if you speak at meetups, uh, just promote GSOC. I had a small slide deck for the today's uh, Jenkins online meetup, but yeah, it went uh, so wrong that I didn't really use it. Uh, but yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, so if you do seek recording, if you do online meetup recording, if you just go on site for to related meetups, uh, you can also use it as an opportunity. And maybe we could uh, create a, a teaser video or whatever it's called uh, for YouTube. Ah, trailer video, I'm not sure. I don't uh, actively use YouTube, but yeah. Okay. Or maybe just uh, online meetup uh, in the next few weeks about JSOC. Would anyone uh, be interested in that? Yeah, I mean, as a potential student, could I? I would be interested in that. <laughs> Okay, so how would we organize it? Just uh, yeah, I mean, if if at all you want me to hold an online meetup like I did today, maybe as even as a potential student introducing maybe a few of the projects that we have or maybe some of them. I don't know how it would work, but yeah, I would definitely be interested if at all uh, the community wants. Okay, students presenting their projects. Um, Uh, not projects, probably experiences. Okay. Yeah, since probably it's a it's it's more of a public uh, domain with the proposals and stuff. Maybe we could uh, demonstrate. Maybe pick a project or something, and maybe demonstrate the idea behind it or something like that. Maybe I would be interested. Mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, just do let me know. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if anyone is interested, and if you want to record a short video about your JSOC experience from previous years, just do that. Many organizations uh, do record such videos, 
And uh, uh, if you go, for example, to JSOC Mentor Summit, uh, there are many lightning talks, uh, which include uh, videos by students. So probably we could try to do the same one. We were discussing it uh, last year, but we just didn't have bandwidth to do that. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. I think we could follow up on this uh, this later with our comments. Uh, so, but if uh, you want to promote your projects, just do that. So there is a bunch of ideas. And yeah, speaking uh, of ORC admins, uh, Mark, should we recover the ORC admin meeting? I do think we should start having that. Mm. Maybe we can do it initially bi-weekly, and then as the project gets more underway, we can increase the frequency like we did last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for more org admins? When I could do the org admin for Jenkins X. Sweet Are Mother you? Mary, we would love more org admins. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Marky. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm also a plus one for Eden Cara because uh, really Jenkins X is a bit uh, isolated community from Jenkins, but uh, having Cara in our admin list would help us a lot. I'm a plus one for uh, Kara becoming an org admin. Okay, and you minus one? Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, Martin is on the call. Okay, I guess I agree. Okay. So, welcome our board. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, make sure to add you to all the uh, channels. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot because yeah, any help uh, will be much appreciated. On that on that topic, would it be beneficial mm -hmm. to us as an organization to send out some type of communication via tweet? that welcomes Kara as an org admin, I think that serves two purposes. One, I think it's awesome to promote new org admins. And number two, it helps us to increase the visibility to get continued org admins. When people see that, they're like, oh, that's awesome. I'd love to do that. Mm -hmm. So it's just sort of a, a new thing. I also think it, it promotes, uh, I think it promotes that we're a very, diverse and inclusive uh, project and that we truly believe in having women as org admins. I truly strongly believe that. So promoting that is a very, very good thing in my opinion. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, I like it. Yeah, so we can just uh, tweet a list of org admins because we didn't really do that. Uh, or we can uh, send a special welcome message. Okay. But, yeah. Oh yeah, let's uh, follow up, but I agree with you that uh, we should do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else regarding core admin stuff? Mm. So Jeff, uh, you're not participating as org admin uh, this year, right? And same for Rick. Um, so I, I would pref um, want to make sure that I have plenty of time for mentoring because I, I feel like we, we have um, more of a need for mentors. So I'm, I'm happy to, to do the admin, but um, I, 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 want, I, I would rather make sure I have time for mentoring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Perhaps we could think, and we don't need to do this now, but we could think about having emeritus uh, org admins, and that way they still retain sort of the the ability to participate if time becomes available, and we're not just saying, okay, you're not an org admin anymore. Mm 
we keep like sort of that emeritus status that allows mm. them sort of preference to come back next year if they want to be a full org admin. That's just a suggestion. It doesn't have to be anything yeah. concrete. Yeah, I wouldn't call that complicated because yeah, everybody is welcome to return. So our, we have technical limitation. Uh, JSOC website limits the number of org admins to five. Um, but uh, being core admin on the JSOC website uh, gives you very arguable privileges of being responsible to ensure that uh, all mentors submit the evaluations in time and other things. And uh, the rest of uh, org admin duties uh, can be handled in the mailing piece. So yeah, last year we had uh, seven org admins in the mailing piece, but only five on the website, something like that. But, yeah. We can uh, find a way. But yeah, for now we can just proceed. But uh, if anyone is interested, we still have one slot. Okay, any other topics before we start QA? Um, hello, this is Martin. I have a quick question. Yeah. So, um, a, men a potential mentor on the mailing list is asking. Where can mentors meet to discuss their, their own projects? Mm. Do they have access to, to the Zoom? I, I, I don't think so. No, they do not. Um, is, does Hangout still exist? Yes, it no. does. No, it uh, does. Not, uh, it's so not that name anymore. I think it's something different. Sorry, Oleg, I'm talking a Yeah, so main difference is recording because you can uh, do only recording of a single person uh, on Hangouts on, on YouTube Live. If you want to meet, uh, basically you can use free Zoom account. When, uh, if you're uh, it's just limited to 40 minutes, um, but uh, you can use it for any kind of recording and we can up upload it on the JSOC site if you want. Cool. And if you do not want to be recorded, yeah, then you can use whatever service you like. Given the given the the global nature of our communications, isn't a first point of contact for mentors inside a Gitter channel probably related to them, or is it Martin? Were you specifically asking about face-to-face -face style meetings or meetings where they were live with each other? I I think I'm asking to know all the ways they can all the ways mentors can meet I've, I've i've found it useful myself to personally meet potential mentors that were on the same project as as me just using a you know private private video chat for maybe half an hour and then the rest could follow under the official channels mm -hmm. so i guess um i guess the answer the answer is is clear like they can they can they can use this, like Oleg's writing a self-organized video chat for introductions and you know early information exchange, and then they can move on to um, the Gitter chat once once the meet and greet is is phase is done. Right. Well, and and so I like they, that. Go ahead. They can also join the official office hours if it works in their time zone yeah plus uh, if there is interest to organize uh, a chat we can do that so for example last year we had a number of code dive sessions uh, a number of uh, demos uh, by uh, mentors and if you need to do that uh, just drop a message to org admins or in gso gitter channel and we will help you to organize the session because uh, all current org admins uh, have permissions uh, to access uh, Zoom account. We will also share access with Kara, or I guess JenkinsX has its own Zoom account, maybe. I'm not sure how it's organized, but yeah. We can definitely uh, host uh, recorded meetings and pub publish uh, videos on uh, our YouTube channels and whatever. Mm -hmm. And also for mentors, uh... <clears throat> Once the project gets started, we do request that the mentors check in with us weekly. So they'll, and that's via email. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, then for video recordings, we can also publish them. 
So basically, if you send us uh, a link to whatever recording uh, in uh, well, file, uh, then we can deploy it on the Jenkins YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not sure, Cara, does Jenkins X has its own YouTube channel now? It indeed, it does. And we have a number of playlists as well. So we mm -hmm. can make a specific playlist for GSOC. Yeah, it would be better if we post Jenkins X uh, recordings on the Jenkins X list. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for playlists, we already have one on uh, Jenkins YouTube. I'm always afraid about this moment. You open it and uh, get suggestions. <laughs> okay, you haven't seen that. But yeah, if you switch to the Jenkins account, you can uh, find even more interesting suggestions. Yeah, I've seen some. I've seen some really like exercise videos. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's keep this part. Uh, but yeah, really, we have a number of channels. Uh, so yeah, there are playlists and playlists specifically for JSOC. Uh, this is a playlist where we post all these meetings and we can uh, post uh, specific items uh, to more mailing lists. And we still have a Jenkins X mailing list, uh, Jenkins X list here, but yeah, I guess it's obsolete. So are we offering, are we offering mentors to coordinate their first meeting together on Zoom? or we're telling them self-organize a meeting with the other mentors and report back? Well, we will be definitely helping people to organize during uh, the community boomerang phase, taking our experience with previous years. Uh, regarding the application phase, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. So if uh, we have time as all means, yes, we can do that. Uh, to be honest, I would rather expect people to self-organize. For clarity, Oleg, in this phase, the the mentors are not yet formally assigned. We're potential mentors. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So basically, okay, so nobody commits to anything right now. Okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. so my conversations with other potential mentors on the projects that interest me are perfectly fine. We go ahead. We could, we could meet if we want, we could organize if we want, mm -hmm. but we've still, we're still in the, the prep and get student proposals collected in that will then be handled at a later date. Yep. Yeah. That's right. So the majority of the traffic uh, will be uh, student proposal drafts um, and questions from more students who are interested. So some questions can be answered with current response because uh, many people just join channels, ask questions and disappear forever. Uh, but uh, we really need to engage with students who are interested in the projects. And for that, it will require significant time, but hopefully it will be an enjoyable activity for everyone. As we are coming up on the 15 minute left mark, I do want to yep. make sure we have give time to students for Q&A. Yep, let's do so. But potential students. I... Okay, whatever. Uh, potential students are actually students somewhere uh, at the universities. I could uh, say so uh, about mentors, but whatever. Okay, Q&A. Um, so question from studying about uh, custom distribution service. Uh, so speaking of uh, mentors self-organizing meeting, uh, here's one of example. Uh, so we are thinking about the meeting for the project and right now there is a doodle uh, pending. So yeah, if anyone uh, is interested in this project idea, uh, just uh, vote so that we can schedule uh, a meeting. Mm. And uh, I I'm really interested in uh, moderate. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the answer. I, I will be the mentor. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And regarding any other interested mentors, it's a subject for outreach. So hopefully we will get more potential mentors. Uh, but yeah, right now it's a bit relaxed. So we have discussions um, and we see who is interested. Because yeah, we won't uh, uh, spend yeah, too much time. Potentially mentoring this. Yeah. So potential mentors are fine. Uh, once we get into a situation where we have uh, proposals and when uh, we don't have enough mentors, we'll start uh, reaching to particular people who might be interested. But right now we just uh, collect uh, lists and uh, invite everyone to participate. Yeah, yeah, sounds cool to me. Okay, so if uh, Jeff, if Ramon are interested, that's fine. Uh, if not, uh, it's also fine. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, I'm I'm definitely still interested. Mm -hmm. So maybe you would like to add yourself uh, to this project. Mm -hmm. Do Do you mean by add to the project? Do you, Do you mean the the doodle? Or uh, doodle for meeting and maybe a list of project ideas. Because it gotcha. would be also nice to have your name here. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, that's a minor thing. So yeah, this list, uh, all of them are moving targets. So there will be people joining and leaving all the time. So until we have a uh, project announced um, and project selection phase running, we just uh, just use it as a reference. Okay. Any other questions here? I guess not. Okay, uh, about YAML proposal. So what's uh, the question slide? Again? Um, I guess it's uh, this one. So reading this email list. Uh, so yeah. Think, uh, building a separate plugin. Um, could we build a proposal on the top of that? It's actually a good question. So this is a situation which uh, is not that common for JSON, but it happens. So we put a, a project idea, uh, and uh, there is somebody working on this project idea. Well, more or less on the same uh, area outside JSOC. So these things happen, and right now I think that it will be uh, the best to just move uh, this project idea back to the draft and to document uh, this mailing list so that uh, students who explore this project idea are aware that there is a potential collision. And uh, after that, uh, we can uh, figure out what we can do. Because right now I also don't have a good answer. But yeah, this is open source. Uh, we basically uh, work in competitive environment, meaning that uh, at any time there may be a pull request uh, coming out of the blue with uh, whatever change you would have never expected. So it's normal. Mm. I will uh, move it to the draft state and uh, uh, I will document it. Yep, sounds cool. So it doesn't mean that this project is not going to happen because uh, there are, even uh, now in uh, this pipeline is YAML project ideas, there are many angles from which we can approach. So including uh, exploring ways to better integration with Jenkins X pipeline, which, which is definitely not a target in the mailing list. Uh, maybe better, deeper integration with libraries like MPL or Port. Again, it's not in the proposal and other things. So there might be still opportunities, but it's definitely, definitely needs to move to, back to draft. Okay. Okay, it's just one while I'm here. Uh, any other questions about this idea while, while we're here? Okay. 
Okay, any other questions? Yeah, I guess that's that's it from my side. Okay. So yeah, we're good published. So if you see any issues or if you want to make amendments, uh, just uh, do it on the website. This uh, project ID is so you can uh, edit them dynamically. Okay. Yep. If there is no other topics uh, to discuss, uh, we can just close down. It's getting quite long anyway. Uh, so meet, uh, is there anything from uh, you? Or maybe from uh, Rohit, Sukesh, who are also on the call? Uh, so, no, no, no questions today. Okay. Mm, so, yeah, thank you. And yeah, start providing feedback uh, in your project idea. Uh, well, better later than never. Yeah, so if yeah, uh, I, I heard that as a, yeah, I'll, uh, you know, uh, work on it. I was thinking about those comments. So thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, it's just the beginning. And yeah, that's the reason why it's better to uh, submit the project uh, proposals earlier. Because, yeah, now it will be a period of two or three weeks when uh, everything is relatively uh, solid. Uh, but after that, it will be crazy. So these are the best weeks uh, to get the feedback. Like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for your time. And see you again next week. And yeah. yes. we yep. have a bunch of action items to execute on. Okay. <laughs> thanks everyone for.